everyone! Today we're going to change my daytime running lamp to my Acura MDX 2008. Let's get to it! You will need a yoga mat, two flathead screwdrivers, a smaller one and a bigger one, and a daytime running light bulb. I got mine at AutoZone for $14. All I did was tell them what I needed and they were able to get it for me. I do recommend you to call before you arrive just to make sure they have it. So the fog light is on the left and the daytime running light is on the right. Once you get everything you need, set up your workstation. I would recommend a thick yoga mat because you'll be on your knees and on your back. This is where the two screwdrivers come in handy. You will need to take the three plastic bolts out from the bottom of your bumper. If you look closely on the bolt, you can see a little indention to where a smaller screwdriver will fit perfectly into. If you can flip that switch up, it will be easier to take out the bolt. And when you put it back in, all you have to do is fit it back into the hole and push that switch down. I did have a little trouble taking it out because this is a really old, rusty car. But once I got that screwdriver in, I used a bigger screwdriver to take the bolt down more. And then I was able to pull it down completely. Third, you want to remove the screw that is on the side of your vehicle. I use a smaller flathead screwdriver to do this. Now you want to pull open the side so you can access where the lights are located. So I wanted you to see what it looked like in the inside, so I put my camera in there. And to the right is your fog light, and to your left is your daytime running lamp. In this picture, I already removed my DRL lamp to help differentiate the two. Step five, you wanna remove the light connection by turning it to the left or upwards. Step six, you wanna detach the old light bulb. And then plug in the new light bulb so the new one only fits one way, if you look closely. The plug only allows it to fit a certain way. Next, you want to return the lamp to where you took it from. Now remember, to return it, you have to put it back into that little hole and turn right or downwards. Next, you want to check if the light is fixed. So turn on the car and check if the alert is still on. Great job, you did it. Last, you want to put everything back together. I found it easier just to push the plastic back in with my hands and then manually put the screw back in as well. Thank you for watching. I hope this empowers you and helps you tackle your next project. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe and click that notification bell. Till next time, bye!